school what's going on everyone everywhere welcome back to another video man make sure you like comment subscribe share the video out watch the ad set that post notification bell to all when you go ahead and click it and turn it on okay look actually by the title of the video we are going to talk about tank artifacts man i'm going to rank each tank artifact or everything that really applies to tanks generally and then give you my personal recommendations not only of what i say or like recommend personally also what i've been asking around the community and what we have concluded okay i'm also give you what rank each one of these artifacts should be at for you to maximize their full potential i am on my other alternate character my tank character that i love playing you know been fired been ice been rage earth all done you know what i mean been even atomic on this puppy but nonetheless i'm gonna give you all my recommendations just in general and for a few powers in particular as well without further ado let's hop into it make sure you check out my other videos too by the way because we are getting to it like i said but i already made the healer one for all healer artifacts and healer roll damage ones damage roll you know what i mean troll ones gonna be coming up next if we get enough love on these other three okay this one included but this is how my tier list is pretty much gonna go this is like the a slash s tier this come come my a b tier you know what i mean and then this come my c tier that's kind of the d tier you feel me and you know as this goes from there but nonetheless and then there's a couple that's actually in the f tier that we're not really gonna use and i can show you when i get to constantine in here okay but let's hop into it so my first overall pick i honestly have to say will be the seven or the mystical symbol of the seven i honestly love this one here and i would even personally recommend that you go ahead and get this up to 160. now as you see when you get up to rank 80 you just get the first uh let's say ability dot you know bullet point whatever when enemy hits you get increased defense by three percent for each enemy within five yards maximum of 15 percent then the same goes when you hit rank 120 but at rank 120 you at least get your healing received by is increased by 10 percent then rank 160 you get the regenerated small amount of health based on your restoration each time you're struck by enemy you have a like literally a fourth of a second cooldown well, it's just fantastic. Once you get to that point, you're pretty much golden, okay? I'll be honest with you, this is a fantastic artifact, especially if you're Rage, if you're Fire, if you're Earth. It's just fantastic all around, even and for Ice, too. Just really anybody. Atomic, you know, anybody. This is, to me, this is my favorite tank artifact. Just to me personally, okay? Now, that's a little controversy, because a lot of people, their favorite tank artifact is the manacles. They just love and swear by the manacles, man. Manacles are cool. Um, I like it. It does a lot of different things, similar to how kind of like this one does. You know, it absorbs damage. It basically allows you to re reapply it over time for next like three seconds, five seconds, however much you know you got it up to. Um, and as you see, I only got mine up to rank 156. So I really only got it up to rank 120 um, in terms of the usability. Because, you know, rank 40, 140 is only going to be like a stat buff increase. So definitely keep that in mind. So this is pretty much rank 20, 120 right here. That's all you really need, honestly. Um, if you get it up any higher, you will just get it... Uh, Pretty much a, a better version of unshakable state and then if you get up to 200 you'll just get where your shield pretty much resets its cooldown which is definitely something that is good and can be usable maybe save your life on a rare occasion and like an elite raid or something but it's not gonna be in every every time kind of deal honestly rank 120 you're probably gonna be fine and I apologize, y'all. The rank 160. I just realized I talked about the ranks, but I didn't say which one for this to be at. 160 is ideal for the mystic symbol of the seven. Rank 120 is ideal for the manacles of force. Okay. After that, it's, it's really on you. I'm going to get it up to 160 personally, but I'm not getting up to the full uh, 200. 
that's just me personally I'm not gonna do that but that leads me into my next one the Lazarus pit water is absolutely insane what they have done and updated with this pretty much makes you an immortal makes you like Ra's al Ghul himself you feel me like this one get up to, to 200 if you're really struggling with with um, anth metal like that not only check out my video which I will be dropping here soon um, hopefully like within a few hours whatnot that I'll drop that I will teach y'all how you know how you instead of spending money on the game having to pull out your wallet and whatnot and real world money you'll be able to get all these artifacts up to 200 if you want them to based on a few techniques and a few methods and ways of how to get nth metal and DCO for free okay without spending any real world money I should say but yeah this artifact right here you really need to get up to, to 200 it's ideal especially as a tank you need the smallest cooldown as humanly possible so you can always have that opportunity always have these benefits on up at any given moment but if not rank 160 is still okay because you got 15 minutes this is pretty much going to be a mandatory artifact especially in boss fight encounters for elite and elite plus um and then I'm winning, not really much more to say. It, it's definitely going to help you when you're about to get knocked out, especially if something like really large hits you and about to one shot you. This can save you sometimes. You know, it, is, it just pretty much helps you all around, if I'm being honest. This is a fantastic artifact, and it's something that you really want to consider to rank up, it, especially 200. This is going to be the first one I say rank up to 200 as a tank. Now, this leads me to my other one because Lasso of Truth is not necessarily going to be a boss pool or a boss, you know, artifact per se. This is more like in the hallways with the ads. You're able to go ahead, tether everything on up, and really just scurry down the hallway and just keep pushing. You ain't got to worry about nothing else. Everything's tethered to you. You just you walk one way, everything going to follow you. You ain't got to worry about constantly pulling, 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 and trying to do like a pull trick shot and stuff like that. No, you ain't got to worry about none of that. You put this puppy on out. Anything that's near that them, them ad, that ad that you pulled on originally is, is with you. They're going to be stuck with you till they drop. You feel me? Or at least for five seconds, okay? But they, they should be able to be dropped by that five second mark. For most stuff, you know, maybe if you're an elite or something a little bit higher, maybe a little bit longer, you may have to reapply it. But nonetheless, this is a fantastic artifact, mainly for hallways. But I will say, sometimes even in boss fights, I did use this in Elite Plus one time, and it did it did me justice. I ain't gonna front. More because of that perk at the very bottom here that you get access to at 120, which is when a tethered when tethered to an enemy, heal for one percent for rank 120. That is two. It will be 2% if you get all the way to 200 of all damage it receives. So if you tether this thing to the boss, mind you, when the boss spawns, adds up little minions or whatever the case may be, you can rally them up to it real easy just by them coming in the general vicinity for one. And two, you're going to get yield as much, you know, 1% of all the damage that the boss is taking. If you got a good TPS, that's a lot. Me being a fire tank on this tune. I was up all the time. I put that puppy on the boss. I'm good. I'm golden. I'm just sitting there chilling. Cause I ain't got a block. You know what I mean? Being rage, same thing. Atomic, same thing. Like I was chilling as could be. I love this artifact right here. This is this is a personal favorite of mine. And I will honestly recommend I'm gonna get this up to at least rank 160. Just so when you're seeking up to the additional enemies that are non-boss targets, it likes to you know emphasize there. Um, but it's the seven, and that will pretty much take care of majority of groups. There's very few groups that go past seven, uh, and those who do, you can just you know do an additional pull as needed, or they'll pretty much follow suit as you know as you're attacking and carrying on throughout the encounter. So once you get up to 160, you're pretty much golden. If you really want to maximize that healing, you could get up to 200, but I really see no personal. Um, point of it per se mind you it will double the amount of healing you're getting and receiving from that enemy it's more likely you should tether to a boss 
but nonetheless you should be fine honestly your dps are good enough one percent is going to do you wonders anyways so additional one percent yeah it'll be cool we double but you don't need it 160 should be fine now eye of gemini i'll be honest with y'all this is a fantastic artifact ideally with this one here just to maximize that duration especially if you're going to be eog spamming you should get up to 160 if you are noticing you are needing more health more dominance more resto maybe you're not surviving as long in these fields and stuff like that maybe you just need a little bit of boost a little bit of oomph in there definitely get up to that 200 okay that five percent can make that difference it is a slight difference of that five percent of those stats but it's going to help nonetheless especially when you're in those green circles you're going to heal yourself especially when you get up all the way to 200 at least 160 you will get that full six second duration so that's going to help you heal yourself as needed and get enough supercharge back to yourself but also onto your group and your team as well honestly um for my character right here since it's all i'm only going to rate it up to 160 and call it a day if I need more of the stats and like more of the healing and whatnot for survivability, I might put on the Lasso of Truth. I might put on the Everyman Protocol, which I'm gonna get to in a sec, or just Lasso of Water for the ultimate, you know, I'm not gonna die kind of deal. But as I was saying about Everyman Protocol, um, a few people like Obsidian Chill, he really likes this one. I like it too. It is actually pretty usable, and sometimes I will. I know I'm gonna get a little hate for this. I will actually take manacles out and and replace it with Everyman Protocol. Pair with Mystic Symbol of the Seven and Lasso of Truth. And I've done a lot of good things with that, I'm gonna be honest. Now with Everyman Protocol, I will say your recommended rank or level that you wanna level this up to will be about 160 as I have it here. 160 is that good sweet spot where you're getting enough benefits of each of the certain health brackets and not really doing too little or too too much on, on anything okay of course if you're 200 you're gonna maximize there but like one of my league mates even told me today this is something that this is why it's in the the kind of the tier below just because you will have to get in the lower health ranges for this to become more viable now it will help you not just get completely obliterated out if you're taking a lot of damage at once but at the same time this is, is for the more higher health pool people like fire like rage stuff like that maybe even earth okay now if you are more of the ice um sometimes even earth sometimes rage and fire can benefit from a tube i'll say more on the ice scale um Cersei's mass is pretty much going to be a good go-to for you and I would say in my honest opinion if you're in the 120 range of this which you're going to kind of see a trend here the 120 is going to be a good sweet spot for a lot of tank artifacts tanks don't really require that much that's why I'm kind of upset there's not a lot of tanks in the game well there's a lot of tank power people but a lot of people don't want to step away from the DPS and, and go to the tank role you know what I mean? Even the artifacts are pretty cheap in, in hindsight compared to everyone else. But Surge's, Surge's Mass is pretty much going to be more for more for Ice, more for Earth, and that kind of deal. Okay, and the increased healing is going to be phenomenal. You can even make an argument for Fire. Um, rage, it'll be okay for, but it's not really required since you know rage has its own little health you know severe punishment and the whole rage crash mechanic and stuff like that that you can do it's going to take care of itself okay if you blow through a shield you should be healing yourself right back regardless of the fact so but for all of us that can't do them little special magic tricks and whatnot with the space magic this is going to be ideal for you especially if you are especially ice more in particular it's gonna help save you quite a bit, especially when your shield breaks and you need that increased healing because you're starting to get whooped on. We all know ice, one thing to suffer from, when it shield gets blasted through, especially with a lot of ads, and it starts taking a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, this is looking like a sad day for ice at that point. And this right here can help you with that particular situation setup, okay? So this may be, you go to opportunity, rank 120, you'll be golden, okay? 
you don't really need to get it any past that. If you want to get it up past that, you're more than welcome to. Um, mind you, for 120, the next usable thing besides the, the stun, of course, would really be to 200 for the actual like health benefits of it and the healing benefits of it. So keep that in mind. So 120 is going to be a good sweet spot. Just keep it there. You'll be fine. Now, if you are Earth, I will say the Mercy Amazon trick Matrix thing. I don't know. The, the Mercy Artifact. That's okay. This is going to be good for you because Earth, it will help heal your pets, keep your pet up, and, you know, keep them all good and in the hood. So, this is a more of an Earth Artifact if you're trying to do Earth pet tanking. If you're trying to do more like Aftershock and stuff, it's not going to be your, you know, your artifact to really run for Earth for that particular side of, of Earth. But if you are going to be pet based, hey, go ahead, by all means, have at it. Now, I like to even pet DPS, and pet DPS with Earth go crazy. I'm not going front. So, with that being said, you honestly want to get it up to 200 because even in the defense matrix for that shield that it does have, if the shield strength gets increased by 50% only at 200, okay? So, you want to keep that in mind. Even the restored a bit, like, yes, you get a little bit um, at the initial rank of 80, then 120 then 160 then of course 200 is where you max it out but you're more looking for in terms of tanking the restorative module and defense module and those are best going to be served to you at rank 200 so unfortunately this is going to be a more higher cost one for you to do if you're going to do it but i will say it does pay out for more on the dps side of things okay not only deep pet DPS is becoming a way within itself and it is phenomenal. I've even put out a build to how every power in the game can pet DPS with the general has build. I've already pet DPS and put out loadouts for electricity. I'm doing water at the moment on my main character. Um, I've already know how to do an earth and sorcery. I'm put those builds out here soon. So yeah, pet DPS is phenomenal and earth is able to battle, you know, battle tank with a pet dps setup so that's something you also want to consider a mercy artifact will help you maximize that especially because earth can already tank as a pet tank then you're doing pet dps and tanking that like it's just phenomenal it's perfect synergy perfect harmony everything just works well and it's cohesive all together so this one is something you're gonna have to rank up to 200 but it's definitely something to consider it's more of a niche build um but it's definitely worth a try now the clarion is something that you can use pretty much for everyone um i will say that it's not the best for healer for uh for tank i mean it's better for healers but i have seen quite a few of fire tanks be able to use this and utilize the healing from it as well as the additional damage to you know and then keep doing more healing and stuff like that and get the additional shields since fire don't have the many shields in the first place so it just helps it all around and it's pretty good all around i'll definitely say if you're going to rank this up there's definitely something that you want to at least rank to 160 and then if you have the extra art of xp definitely get up to 200 to maximize the full benefits of it but 160 is definitely where you want to have like more of your baseline at because you don't really get a lot of the benefits from it until you get to 160. 200 is where you're able to fully maximize, especially if you're trying to do it more as a tank, because 200 will allow you to get that shield effectiveness increased by 100%, where only 160 will allow you to at least get a good chunk of your restorative and you know damage abilities there. But 160, bare minimum 200 preferred now the steel refractor is a bit of a niche thing because not a lot of people do it i've seen a couple fire people a couple rage people do it in terms of getting their health pool up to a um, pretty insane level so i'm being honest but this is something that you're not going to really use in most case scenario i know some people did it to survive some stuff in source wall elite but like i said you're really not going to use this um you really don't need to use it if you're going to use it for whatever reason 
120 is fine 160 is a little bit better but bare minimum if you're if you're gonna use it bare minimum at least have it at 120 160 it will be a little bit more like okay he's using him but he's you know they would actually do something with it and then 200 is like I don't like it but I can't deny that it is it is putting its health up there so they're not dying at least you know what I mean that's what they're gonna say it pretty much for you so keep that take that with a grain of salt test it out if you want to for yourself and all that other good stuff especially since test server is free for everyone I got it I don't have no membership on the PC side of things and I'm on the test server now so hey test server is free now transformation card transformation card is pretty much a DPS artifact everyone knows it is that and if you are healing and stuff it is a great artifact for that as well and since for more fire people I would say fire earth maybe atomic rage don't you really don't need it because you have that whole rage mechanic where you kind of have like the um, with the rage crash and everything but I would say more fire more earth and more atomic can take advantage of transformation card especially the healing side of things that's more of a fire thing where you're going to be able to heal like crazy and get them crits to always have your health pretty much up to max okay don't worry about the reduced um damage or healing that's really not going to make any difference for you regardless because you're not going to do that much damage in the first place and healing you take 10 20 percent away from healing that's that's nothing okay even 21 percent that's that's not going to be that noticeable it's gonna it's gonna be a little noticeable but not like oh my goodness you can't stay alive noticeable you know what i mean you're still going to be perfectly fine and the amount of crit that you get from this it says 20 percent but I literally was doing DPS testing earlier without transformation card. And I got anywhere from 2% crit rate within a 10 second parser to at the max 18% crit chance rate in a, in a 10 second parser. I couldn't even get over 20. But once I put the transformation card back on, my normal low end of crit rate in 10 second parser was 40%. And the high end was 80%. So, you see there, it's, it says 20%, but that 20%, it ain't always 20%, it's a lot more, most times. So, definitely keep that in mind. It's a phenomenal artifact, and on the healing side alone, it's just insane. Like, you will not need as many abilities whatsoever at all. Like, instead of you needing, needing smoke flames, and maybe pop a shield, and then pop, uh, what's it called? your breakout as well to heal you you don't need to do all that backdraft that's it metro of already heals pretty decent but you you may backdraft crit every time backdraft that's it you don't even need that you don't even need stumble flames at that point backdraft you good i need another heal let me just let me just do that because it's gonna crit you know what i mean it's it's insane the amount of crits you get with this is absolutely ludicrous sometimes you 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 become so dependent on relying on it to crit that it makes you kind of a little handicapped at times because you might change your play style. So definitely keep that in mind. Take that with a grain of salt and be careful. I recommend, you know, you get up to 80 is where you get the benefit of it and you pretty much get the full benefit of it there. But if you want to make a like, uh, you know, a, a rational breakdown of it, at least get up to 120 so it comes down from 21% damage and healing reduction to 19 so you can at least make sense in your head like oh well 19 percent is reduced for a 20 percent gain that's that's good that's okay i'm i'm gaining one percent you know what i mean you make it make sense in your head and it's more rational but it just seems a little bit better at 120 anyways mind you it's only two percent but you know it adds up strategist card Amulet and Heart of Isis are pretty much the last three I have here, and that's like more of a D tier. Charge card is something that you, you don't really want to use. I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't. Um, if you do end up using it, at least get to 160. There's no point in using it because as a tank, the only thing you're gonna use it for is to heal over time, and fire has way better heals and way better artifacts to use. Even every man would be better to be used for fire. Seven uh, symbols of 
Mystic Symbols of the Seven will be better used. Manacles, better to use. Lazarus Pitwater, better to use. Lasso Truth, better to use. I, Gemini, better to use. Like, I'm over here it's talking, 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 because it's everything's better to use. Like, oh, you can make an argument. Even Mercy could technically be better use than the Tragic Guard, depending on if, like, what you're doing, per se. You know what I mean? Like, If you're if you're more battle tanking, but like Cersei's mask is better to use than than Strategy's card. It's not good to use if you are gonna use it for whatever reason and you didn't get kicked yet out the group. One sixty. Okay. At least because you can at least get the double chance for it to proc to at least say, well look guys, I'm actually getting my my eight thousand heal or something, and, and call it a day. So yeah. Amulet, Suicide Artifact, um, this is good for DPS and DPS survivability as well as DPS just damage. Um, if you're on the DPS side, I recommend that you get to 160 for the 20%. Ideally, you want to get that to 200 though for 30%. That's a whole 10% increase in just pure might damage as well as, I mean it's 30%, it's 10% increase there. And... If you want to use this on the healing side of things, just more as a tank that heals, mind you, it's it's halved the tank rolls inherently on the finisher portion of it, but you you need the the hundred percent, so you can't just leave it at, at eighty. It has to at least be one twenty, bare minimum before anything else. Okay, so keep that in mind. One twenty if you're gonna use it, but don't use it. You can use it as a DPS, but not as a tank. Don't don't do that. Now I'll even say you can sit here and do that first. Okay. But that don't do not use that. Heart of Isis is something that everyone thought that was gonna replace I Gemini, but it's not. Even with the I Gemini rework, I still don't think Heart of Isis is going to replace it. It's okay. Um But what really messed it up, in my opinion, is the fact that just plain word of power can increase what the Heart of Isis artifact was supposed to increase in the first place. So there's almost no real point of running Heart of Isis to get like the whole Shazam thing. It's cool, it's niche. You could technically make a build around it because there is a portion that heals you and does like damage mitigation or damage reduction, I should say. So uh, it can it can help you with that, but. Just use word of power, it increases your, your health pool at that point. Then it, it buffs your, your whole team too and gives it yourself and everyone power over time. So just use word of power at that point. So yeah, that is my recommendations right there. Um, there's a couple others that technically say tank on them if you want to go really into it. Um, pretty much all these are, are not going to be useful for you as a tank. Let's be honest, do not use them. Uh, what is it? Legendary Spartan AI. It says tank, recommended for tank. Don't use that. Technically, you have the dominance enough to actually counter enemies, but even as a battle tank, this is something that you won't actually use or should not be using in PvE, even as a battle tank. This is more of a PvP dueling, very niche artifact to use. Do not use it in PvE, okay? Just, just no. There's way better options, especially with the t current state of the game, the current meta. Just don't do it, okay? I don't know how to m make it any clearer than that. Just don't do it. But without further ado, man, that is my recognition right there. That is my tier list or ranking or whatever else you want to call it, okay? That's more of an F tier one in PvE. Um, or I guess you can, you can I guess call it D tier. It's an it's a, you know, over here. But... Yeah, that is my ranking. That is my. I'm really trying to think of the word right now. It just escaped my mind. It is late, y'all. It is three o'clock in the morning. I need to go to bed. I got work in the morning, y'all. So without further ado, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I forgot what I was gonna say, but it don't matter because I'm not re recording this. I already tried to do that, and I'm not doing it again. This is going up on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe. You see me putting in the hard work for y'all so y'all know all this stuff whenever we get to that double artifact XP week that is coming up literally the, today as the day you're watching it. So, yeah. 
Let me know in the comment section down below how you like this video. Any constructive criticism, leave that down below as well. Any recommendation, guides, to helps, helping other people, tips and tricks, etc. Leave them in the comment section down below as well. Let's help each other all around. Without further ado, peace and shalom.